Welcome to the community, everybody. We got a beautiful update on Power World this evening. You could just see the graphics and how much different they look. Minions are getting it in the back back there. And the sad part is you don't even need a base to be set up for the ore mine. I mean, yeah, you might need some coal, but how important is coal really? I have spent weeks AFK. You know what? We are going to get into that in a minute. Today on Power World, we're going to be discovering 60 new updates they made to make this game absolutely beautiful. So the first big update and what's on everyone's mind is the fact that they have put raid boss pals into the game. They're not even on the map. You summon them at the new summoning altar. Raid boss pals are summoned by slabs. They're very powerful. They cannot be captured. It says that right there, but then also below it, it says... Pals drop eggs. So everybody's thinking the egg just hatches the pal. I'm sure somebody knows by them, but y'all know me. Play on hard mode. Takes 32 hours to hatch a dang egg of the game being on. Not even the game being off, so take us a little while to figure out that one. And then the extreme version of the raid boss is incredibly powerful and difficult to beat, which sounds really cool. But as a solo player on hard mode, I'm struggling to beat the final tower boss with all legendary weapons. So... <laughs> we're gonna have to figure this out together guys moving on to the new items that were very much needed in this game new training manual items these manuals allow you to give experience points to your pals gonna be very early game items nothing too fancy there we got ancient technical manuals which i've been really angry about the fact that i don't have anywhere to spend all of my ancient points as you can see we finished the game and still had i think it was like nine ancient points left over and there wasn't anything else to buy but now they got all these new beautiful items and you already know i bought those dang ore mines and put them in the ore base because it is just detrimental that they made that back to that later though we're gonna get to that one at the end of the video we got some new recovery meds that have been added i haven't used meds in this game whatsoever or hp fillers probably not a bad call whatsoever homeware thundercloud though now that is a fancy one when this is used will instantly move you to the nearest base which is huge in the middle of those fights if you need to get out of that it's kind of like heli tab back in runescape whenever you be pvp and we also got the new ability glasses so when they're worn you can see the pal stats brilliant add to the game most games got a feature like that putting it in an item love it some new stat boosting items which is probably what i need to beat these more powerful bosses been looking into stuff like that interesting but it's deeper into the game i feel like a lot of people quit before they even get to that content they added a mercy hit pals with this passive cannot reduce oh it's a new passive I didn't even know that. I knew about the Ring of Mercy right here below it, which is very interesting. You put that on, you can't reduce the enemy's HP below one. I could see nightmares, but I could also see a lot of good situations where I couldn't get it below 20, and now I can bring it to one, which might make that difference. And the Mercy hit, I mean, that's cool. I just now am learning about that one, though. And I'll say that that kind of ruins a pal for anything except catching experiences. I guess if you had a really strong one with mercy hit, you run around just, oh, maybe, maybe there's some potential there. Coming in next, we got that multi-climate undershirt. That bad boy is beautiful because I don't have to constantly switch my shirts all the time as it gets hot and cold. I don't even know where you get that. I'm assuming the level three dungeons. There's not too much information out on this stuff yet, but as a power world expert, we can give you what we know here. The electric egg incubator, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'm telling you guys, I have based my whole game around what it was and they're just gonna change all this stuff up like i got these fires next to these huge dragon eggs and then over here i got my giant ac next to my frost eggs now this here this is the update that bothers me so new building or mining site has been added we have had to build giant bases around the ore mining site we've had to suffer blood sweat and tears in order to get this accomplished and get the ore. And you have to AFK for days, much less. I built this giant castle. Took me like four retries of building. Took me months. Pal still gets stuck on the outside. And now, after all that time, you just throw in a mining site that can casually fit in the middle. What is going on, Pal World? Could have made this one a little quicker. I understand compiling a bunch of things, but y'all probably had this figured out like three weeks ago. 
And we definitely could have used it. Beyond miffed, beyond miffed, but it is a beautiful thing to come out. We only used two bases, so now we're gonna use three, one for this right here. I'm not really too into breeding though. Breeding kind of ruins the game in my mind. Because you just get all the minions so quickly, especially if you build a base just for it. Or level 2 mine. They also have a level 1 mine, but I usually wait till the next best thing in Power World, so you ain't upgrading all the time. And you are not gonna believe it. Even with that ore mining site, they still have other updates that save me astronomical amounts of time. That would have been nice just a little bit earlier, Pal World. Let's factor in the next one, the Pal updates. So we got Kelpsy now produce Pal fluids. Thanks for all those two hour trips and going and killing a bunch of gobfins. We also got Dunmud can now produce high quality pal oil at the ranch. That is beautiful. Dunmud was extremely useless and high quality pal oil is very much needed. You'd have to farm gold for that much better. What is this right here? You can now reduce the weight of metal ore while riding Serpent Terra. That is absolutely gorgeous, if you ask me. Increase the amount of ores dropped while riding Astagon. This is beautiful because I used to hit the ore, not get a full inventory, which should happen in concept. All right, so you get in the middle of the ore, bang, hit the lightning bolt. Bang, hit the lightning bolt. And in concept, this should give us a full inventory at this point with a new update. It used to not fill up my inventory right off the bat, so this is definitely a little bit better. It was not buffed too much, though. And even with these, somehow later in this video, we still discover stuff that just blows your mind. Raise pals to rank to the maximum with a single synthesis using pal essential. Could who is doing this? Is somebody doing this? Does this apply to anybody? Next one, next one. Negative PAL status will now be resolved after spending some time in the PAL box. Beautiful! So they're not gonna be sad and depressed? That is beautiful. You know how long I've been waiting for that? You know how annoying making medicine is, PAL world? Let's go ahead and get into the UI updates. While aiming a spear, will now display how many PALs of the target has been captured. This is absolutely gorgeous. I have always wondered and had to go pal deck and then you gotta find it. It's not even an alphabetical order or anything. Oh, a 112, new minion. Another new update, a new minion. And then you'd have to come look at them, which was not enjoyable whatsoever. You can now check the cooldowns on partner skills of all pals on your main screen. Absolutely beautiful. You know how whenever I'm fighting the bosses, I constantly swap minions out because you know that they're refreshing a move whenever they start doing that stupid run around the enemy situation. So you want to swap them out. Now we have a timer on that so that I'm not throwing them out there with bad timing. This could really speed up our DPS. Absolutely gorgeous. Equipment and item stats are now visible on the technology screen, even if you do not have them unlocked first. Beautiful. I've hated having to wait till I'm unlocking the item rather than knowing what I'm striving for. The tutorial has been improved. Indeed, it even reset on us people with high level experiences. So I'm having to do it again for some reason. Power World, fix the game. You can now show and hide the journey in-game options okay so you can hide that i shouldn't even be griping about it but one thing i do have question did they fix the pals glitching through the walls is there an update in this about fixing pals glitching because that's what drives me crazy that's what keeps me up at night and the last ui update is going to be damage number display size can be changed in the game options that's going to be the little numbers you see when they displayed they also did change the animation drastically. Look at the pow balls now. I don't even think I've mentioned this stuff yet. Why is that better? I like the shirts more. I really do. The body armor is kind of cool. Look at these damage. See, they're smacking a little bit different. And you can change the size of them, which is... I, I mean, now that I got a, a close-up look, it doesn't look too bad. Heading back on into those updates, we got player update. Items dropped by players after death on a dedicated server can now be picked up from by anyone 24 hours after the real time has passed. That's good to get rid of the X's on the map, but I'm not seeing much PvP implication yet, Power World. I want to be hurling grenades and launching rockets at people and then taking their stuff. I don't want to have to wait 24 hours for it. Adding a new sleeping player mode. I'm happy our focus and priorities are right. And now for the final of this here episode, we are going to cover did they fix the pals glitching through the walls? 
so we got the base related updates the balance adjustment and the bug fixes left to know if power world actually cares about us so let's go ahead and get into that base related first you can now allow and disallow work for base pals at the monitoring stand. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go check out what that is right quick. This is exactly what we needed. This is what we have been preaching for. Absolutely gorgeous. Supposedly they got the idea from Sims, but I've never played Sims. Because if you have a level 4 gatherer, and you need something in the ranch you don't want to gather in, like honey, for instance. You only want honey to be ranching. You can turn the other ones off now. Absolutely gorgeous, Power World. Really good update there. Going to speed up the efficiency of the bases. Chest fillers have now been added. Absolutely gorgeous. We love to see it. That's all that matters to me. You could choose where the minions put the items in the chest now because if it's the only available slot, they'll put it there. And you can put the fillers in without having to put a bunch of junk around. Select items allow or disallowed inside chests. Oh, that's even better. So you don't even have to put the fillers in really i mean you can do it whatever way you're feeling beautiful power world crafted items are now transported from crafting facilities selecting a lot of transport even if you're cooking which i keep the food inside the cook because i don't want it to go stale but see if i just hit square down there at the bottom you can see it it'll, it'll bring them in beautiful you can now edit characters appearance at any time using the anti-dresser beautiful update they said that that was coming Building and building piece placement rules have been relaxed. Good! You know how much I've... Oh, don't even get me started on that one. Maybe we have hope for the future of Power World. They're actually trying to respect in us on these quality of life updates. You can now force a pal to work and cancel their break by picking them up and throwing them towards a facility. Never worked before, so maybe it works now. They recover their sanity while taking a break. Balance adjustment. Minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armors. You no longer need to take off your heat resistant armor when it's cold at night in the starting areas. Absolutely gorgeous. We're in a starting area now and we have to do that. Reduce the press button time in the egg incubator i don't really mind that it took a little bit it was honestly good so you didn't accidentally push it as a creator i'm just trying to figure out did they update it or not did they get us something beautiful where there's not as much glitches going on change the pattern to something more unique okay power world what the heck corrected the selling price of diamonds i hope they're worth more I don't know why you didn't clarify. Added legendary blueprints for some firearms. Oh, that's cool. More legendary blueprints. We totally needed that in game. I love those. Block the back of the starting area with rocks to pre prevent players from getting lost or stuck. No clue what that's about. Increase the attack power multiplier partner skills. Okay, I'm a solo player. Eggs now have a small chance to produce alpha pals. That is huge for legendary schematics. If you didn't know, you could just butcher an alpha pal to get twice the drop rate of a legendary schematic. Shop price adjustments. Beautiful. And we're coming in on the final three things here. Bug fixes other and dedicate a server. Are there any updates coming? A fixed bug where treasure chests would become empty. Fix an issue where the effect increases the player's attack while riding. Are y'all fixing cheaters again and not the glitches that actually bug me? Fixing an issue where the player not receiving loot when capturing pals while mounted didn't even know adjusted the hp but that, that is an annoying one adjusted the hp of the legendary pal and fixed the issue of the difference in hp between capturing legendary pals and bread legendary pals was too large i didn't even know that existed people are really taking advantage of this game and breeding huh fix an issue where pals would eat riding oh yeah they wouldn't eat while riding and i totally could be smacking it in their mouth i feel that one i feel that one strongly fix an issue where spears thrown close to the wild pals would not hit or be lost i didn't even know that happened i thought they were like kicking it away and i thought that was the animation <laughs> the last two categories here improve various pals textures fixing an issue where sorting did not work in the server list improve the server list to allow player transition dedicated servers oh these are just dedicated server updates which don't apply to us at all but if you're into that kind of stuff there you go and i indeed do not see a single thing that says things will not glitch through walls pals will not jump out of your enclosed base and not get back in we could really use some help here guys the little frustrating things, whenever you have a boss on 1 HP and then you're about to catch it and it goes in the ball and it explodes out, now it's in the top of the cave for some reason. And you can't get it, but you can't get your ammo back either, Power World. But 
that's gonna do it for today appreciate everybody if you tuned in and stayed till the end comment on the, some updates you want pal world to give and please leave that sub if you want we only got 61 subs we had 62 this morning we're really going downhill but we can we're gonna make it i promise